almost 15 to 20 percent. All right, that's the commentary coming in from KRBL. Uh, well, let's talk about the mutual fund industry as well now because there is an important update that has come in. Uh, SEBI has written to the Association of Mutual Fund Industry and this is with respect to circular on development of passive funds. Now, remember, that was issued back in May 2022 and now there is an update on that. First, the news and then what it means for funds as well. Now, mutual funds with existing actively managed open-ended ELSS schemes can now launch passive ELSS funds as well. So that's an important update. This can happen only that is the launch of passive ELS as open-ended funds can happen only if uh, the mutual funds they stop accepting subscriptions to existing existing open-ended ELSs that is the active funds as well Additionally, uh, it, they also say that these two schemes have to be merged after three years of closing active ELSS scheme subscription. Uh, now, this has come to the fore. That is because uh, SEBI or Amphi received a lot of uh, uh, industry representation as well. And earlier, SEBI allowed mutual funds to launch passive ELSS fee, uh, funds. That was back in May. But there were funds which already had an active fund. So according to SEBI rules, in the similar scheme, you cannot have, in a similar segment, you can't have two different uh, schemes, so to say. But now, the SEBI has actually paved way for launching another scheme in the same segment, given that they do not have any flows coming in for the other scheme. So that is a big move that we are seeing here. AMCs with existing open-ended ELSS schemes could not issue new schemes earlier, but now they can. And this is on the back of uh, the feedback they had received from different stakeholders. So now, and now the focus is more on passive funds or passive ELSS funds, so to say. Uh, and that is an important update. Of course, it is only for open-ended schemes. The closed-ended schemes remain as is. But for the passive investors, uh, this is an important update that has come in. Okay, all right, Sonal. Thanks very much for that. So important update coming in there. But uh, just want to focus on a couple of stocks. Yes, it is definitely weak for the mid caps as well. It's down around three tenths of a percent. But just watch out for a couple of these agri related stocks uh, KCP Sugars, which is up seven and a half odd percent, Jai Shri Tea, which is up around six point eight percent, Jain Irrigation is up around six and a half odd percent. So that possibly is one particular theme which seems to be playing out in today's trade. Overall, Bank Nifty holding up with a gain of around six tenths of a percent at this point. Time for a break now, but full tilt on the markets. Ashish Kyal of Wave Strategy Advisors will join in with his trading strategies.